My biggest regret as an entrepreneur was not discovering these three things sooner. Don't make the same mistake I did. Hey there, I'm Differenter Colin. Differenter is a term that my friends call me by, but I'll come back to this later. First, let me share with you how I left my career with no business knowledge to now running a video production company that have closed well over a few million dollars in deals, run over 400 marketing campaigns for our clients, making them in excess of 60 million, and produce over 1,700 video sets. All these are achieved because I discovered these three things that I have applied in my business. Now you see, for 20 whole years of my life, I was a military man in the Republic of Singapore Air Force, controlling aircrafts and writing policy papers. So when I left my career in 2016, I realized that I have no business knowledge, no marketing background, and no sales experience, and certainly no video production skills. So it was extremely difficult for me to have arrived at a stage of what my company learns have accomplished today. So even before I left my civil service career, I started doing something simple. I started on content uh, writing and copywriting. At that time, Learns was run by my wife and she could only charge a few hundred dollars for each writing project. But because of what we did, we got uh, quite a few inquiries on writing gigs. We then added social media marketing into our portfolio. But without a portfolio, we could only do what many started out did. We gave away a marketing package to our first client, comprising building a full-fledged sales funnel with an original 60-page ebook, setting up a Facebook page from scratch, coming up with a seven-day email sequence and running ads campaigns for her, all for a measly $480 only. I mean, that client wasn't shortchanging us, we offered to do this willingly for her portfolio. And then I officially left the military in 2016 and I can legitimately run my business since. Rising from market demand, we added video marketing into our arsenal of services. But again, with another new service offering, right? it wasn't quick bucks from the start. And if you knew something about entrepreneurship, you will know that every time we establish a product or service, right, in less than six months, some other agencies with more muscle and investments, they will overtake us by mouse. And we had to figure out something new again. I tell you, for a few years straight, I was working 14 to 16 hour days with no breaks at all. Even on major public holidays, my family birthdays, and my own birthdays, right? And even my wedding anniversary, I had to work hard just to survive. But with quite a lot of determination, hard work and some luck, we actually put it off. In fact, I was so grateful to say that with the support of our kind clients, we thrive. No longer do I have to work 90 to 100 hour weeks anymore. And of course, our marketing and video packages are not priced so low anymore. So with the assistance of a dozen team members, I can have a bit more me and family time now. But I still work for 10 hours a day nearly every single day. Anyway, fast forward to 10 years till today, right? We have helped hundreds of clients close over 60 million of uh, sales through our digital and uh, video marketing uh, campaigns. Uh, many of our clients from small business owners to government entities and especially those from national level companies, right? They hold us in very high regards, especially for our videos. And thanks to their support, we have produced a lot of videos in these few years. Yes, you already heard me saying that we have produced over 1,700 videos as of early 2024. And for this number, we only count client videos and our own commercially done ones not the hundreds more that uh, we do for our Instagram and TikTok channels. So yes, it was very hard work for me for many years before I could see results. It doesn't have to be this way for you though. You don't have to toil for so long before you want to achieve the success that you're looking for. So long if you learn and apply these three aspects as quickly as you can.
You might argue that these three things are part and parcel of running a business. Well, yes, you're right. But I tell you, in the hustle and bustle of running your business, you will tend to forget that you have to continually be applying these three things. So let me explain in a little more detail for each of them. First up, entrepreneurship. Now at first I thought running a business means entrepreneurship. I thought that I need to wake up early every morning, toil through 14 to 16 hour days, sleep late, and then rinse and repeat this for years. And it's extremely tiring and potentially damaging for my health. And for most people, right, I don't think they'll be able to do this. And it was only around 2020 when the whole world was sh shut down uh, due to COVID before I knew what entrepreneurship was. And the key lesson that I learned was entrepreneurs are not supposed to be in their business. They are on their business. And so since then, I focus on three entrepreneurship tips that were given to me by successful business owners. Let me share them with you here. First, I needed to leverage on my team. So at one point, my company was 12 people strong, yet I felt like I was working as much as the rest of the 11. That's because I didn't know how to leverage on them. Next, because of some kind of uh, bad experiences, right? I didn't want to work with uh, partners anymore. And so I reeled back on my networking and it was really, really a bad mistake. And third, I discovered that companies grow faster with investment or loans. So for what revenue I managed to make in three years before, I could do that in one year if I have fresh capital to buy resources and employ staff to do so. So those were just a few entrepreneurship tips that were given to me to grow my business faster. Then the second aspect is digital branding. Now I say branding here, not marketing, because marketing is much simpler in my opinion. Even if you don't know how to do it right, just outsource your marketing efforts to a vendor. And really even a fresh grad who has done some Facebook or Instagram ads, uh, she will be able to help you get your message out fast. But digital branding is totally different because it is a lot more calibrated to the identity you and your company want to portray. It's not just pushing out your products, you have to have a strategy on what you want your customers and clients to think and remember of you. So like the first aspect before, let me share three tips that I have discovered that work the best for me on digital branding strategies. Now, first up, you need to brand yourself first ahead of your company. True, it's not for every business, but over these years, right, I've realized that it's a lot faster and simpler for our customers to relate to the founder or CEO than to a company. I mean, just look at all the big tech companies today, Apple, Facebook, Google, OpenAI, all of them place the branding of their leaders on very high regards. Next, you have to brand yourself on different platforms today, depending on your target audience demographics and also your representation. Meaning you cannot expect to do branding on Facebook today and expect everyone in the world will see you. And lastly, as much as word of mouth referrals are important, right? We cannot ignore social media because these platforms are primarily the source of our cold market today. Okay, enough of digital branding strategies for now. Let's talk about the third aspect, which is video production. Well, you might argue that since we are a video production company, right, of course we will advocate video production. But hey, this is 2024 already, and I don't know of any small business today that could succeed in penetrating the market and trumping their competition without videos. So allow me to impart three quick tips on video production that will definitely help in your company's growth. Now, the most crucial part of video production is not really your equipment, not your shoot locations, and it's not your skill even. It's actually you or whoever the person is in front of the camera. Always remember that viewers watch video primarily for two outcomes, education or entertainment. If whoever's in front of the company can't deliver either of these two things, right, everything else don't matter. Second, 
quality matters. But quality here does not just refer to video quality. It can be the quality of your content, the quality of your presence, the quality of your script, and so on. And lastly, this is something that I found out late, even as a, a video production company. Embrace short form reels. Video production is not only about long form videos like this one anymore. Reels that are 60, 30, 15, or even eight seconds have their place in your content creation strategy. So learn how to do short videos for the eyeballs and engagements before you embark on fuller videos with more content. So there you have it, the three aspects of running a business that I wish I could have learned and applied sooner. And because of the hundreds of strategies, tips, and even tutorials that I have received, right? I want to do the same for all you. And so, learns is about all this. Entrepreneurship tips, digital branding strategies, and video production tutorials. Now, this is the reason why I'm putting up this YouTube channel. Because I didn't go through any formal education or training. I dare to take a break from a lot of the rules. I also am very open to new trends as well as embracing time-tested formulas that have been proven to work. And this is what being different is all about. Being different and being better. So like why I'm called Differenter Calling, I want to make this channel Differenter too. So be sure to follow our videos by subscribing to this channel and don't forget to give this video a like too if you enjoyed my story. Regardless, thank you for watching until this point. So I'm Differenter Colin. Why be different and you can be different. I'll see you in the hundreds of other videos in our channel. Okay?